Hey guys, Happy New Year. Hope you had an awesome celebration. Let's start 2017 with a cool new video. So almost a year ago, I made an improved menu system, just like the name suggests, is built to improve the usefulness of the radio menus in game. Because let's face it, the default panels are boring. Version 2 looks like this. What's new with version 2? Let's start with the communication tab, also known as the radio menu. If you're new to the improved radio menus, you will notice that all the commands you really really need for a competitive game are here, in a single menu. Since version 1, the biggest change I've made is the removal of the follow me command, which is replaced with the need backup command known as help. I've decided to change this because need backup is much more useful in general, especially if you can't use your microphone. The order of the list is changed to make sure the most useful commands are easier to reach. Now, let's go to the next menu which is called the training menu. Just like in version 1, this menu is built for when you practice offline or together with friends in a private lobby. It's extremely useful and I'll explain why now. The biggest change is the new commands added to the enable training option, such as being able to see both teams in your radar, more room for spectators, no camera restrictions so you can spectate anyone in the server, and to make things fun, I've enabled bunny hopping just by holding down space. And yes, this will only work on your offline server. When training mode is on, you can start experimenting with the other commands in this menu. Since version 1, I've added a new command for clearing decals, so if there's too much blood or bullet holes, you can clear it with a simple press. The next change is the improvement of the impact and trajectory option. If you enable it, you will now see wallbang info and I've improved the grenade trajectory. There's too much green before. Ugh. The next important change I made is move the draw brushes further up the list to make it easy to reach in order to enable, disable it a lot easier. The last menu is the bot menu, which you can use together with the training menu. Since version 1, nothing has changed here since I feel like it's already good as it is. Lastly, I've changed the timeout session for the panels to make them less distracting. And that's version 2 of the improved radio menus. The installation instructions are very simple and can be found in the video description. Like always, this is 100% safe to use and will not get you back banned. Hope you find this useful as I do. This was Maxine, stay awesome and go bananas.